I think you will have a difficulty when the technology change. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to the channel of technician. Welcome to the channel of business people. Today, we're going to talk about electronic job. Can you apply to be a technician in electronic in your country? Did a TV job technician is still good in the market? Guys, be with me till the end of this video and don't forget to subscribe and let's share. Guys, welcome, welcome to the channel of Technician. My name is Alfonso, who like and share the video. TV repair job. With my experience, I noticed that most of our box TV actually lasts more than the LCD, LED TV. You know that if you got a problem with your LED TV, your LCD TV, if the screen is cracked, you're going to throw away the TV. And then if you have a problem with the board, like this, if you got a problem with this part, we need to change the whole board. And then you have a main board connected to the power supply. And then it's making by the built-in IC. If you have a problem with sound, you have a problem with picture, you need to change the whole board. If you have a problem with display, you need to change the whole board. If you have a problem with the power supply, you need to change the whole board. So, is it easy to repair the LED TV? or is it easy to repair the box TV? In the market, we have very few box TV these days. And if I check at the chassis of the box TV like this one, we notice that we got transistor, we got diode, we got capacitor, we got transformer, and we got tuner. And we all know this TV got like five compartments. We got a power supply. We got our horizontal and vertical. We got our sound. We got our Chrome picture, okay? And then we got our RGB. That's what the box TV is made to. And on this box TV, if we got a problem with power supply, we check the power supply and we going to find out the component who's damaged in the power supply and replace. It could be a capacitor, it could be diode, it could be a transistor. After testing it, with our multimeter, the component on our power supply. We're going to finally identify the component who's damaged and we're going to replace it. It's still possible to fix the box TV or do you think that it's more easy to fix the LED TV? If we got a problem of power supply, most of the time we need to change the bulb. If we got a problem with chrome and luminance, most of the time, we need to change the whole board. If we got a problem with our sound, most of the time, we need to change the whole board. Guys, according to you, do you still have a job here? Or do you have a job here? The box TV, people don't want it in the market anymore. In South Africa, we change from analog to digital. So box TV is not longer a good market. We don't advise people to buy box TV anymore. Now, to repair your LED is very costly. And to repair your box TV is very cheap. And now, to repair the LED, you actually don't work much. You can repair LED without even using a multimeter. You don't find component anymore for your box TV. But it still remains cheap to repair a box TV than to repair a LED TV. Now, the box TV is going out of the market. Coming now, the LED, LCD, LED TV. You can diagnose if your power supply is damaged. You can diagnose if your main board is damaged. And you can diagnose if your LED is cracked or damaged. You don't use multimeter, you can change your power supply. You don't use multimeter, you can change the main board. You don't use the multimeter, you can change your LED. Today, did a TV job technician is still good in the market? Another question. Do we have a position in a company to repair TV? Because it costs cheaper to repair a TV today than yesterday. Do you think it's still a good business to be a TV technician? There's still money in the TV technician. There's still a work for a TV technician. Being a TV technician, do you still have a future in that career? 
guys i just want to hear your comment please give me your comment below tell me what you observe on your position and to conclude as you know i'm also a tv technician i'm also an entrepreneur i'm a business person i'm a technician of dstv but do you think you have to remain only a tv technician or you should add other skill train yourself as an electronician don't train yourself only as a tv technician train yourself as an electronician and have the proper basic to be a technician in electronic so that proper basic will help you to work on any electronic board because you are able to understand the structure of any electronic board you are able to read a secret diagram of any any electronic board because you will be able to understand how the component transistor diode capacitor thyristor ic all these components work if you don't have a proper training as an electronician you will not be able to understand that and you will not be long on this business to be long on this business to stay long in the electronic technician you need to have a proper training guys if you wish to be an electronician go and do a proper training learn the real basic of electronic if you have trained yourself from school if you have trained yourself as a electronician but if you train yourself only as a tv technician i think you will have a difficulty when the technology change Train yourself being an electronician so that you can have a proper basic as a technician.